Hi guys. Um, volcano with you. Okay, we're going to be uh, drinking another beer from Cotley. Um, this is their dark ale, and it's called Buzzard. I managed to get two of their beers from Tesco's, which is quite strange because usually they don't really stock any of the uh, local stuff. So it was a nice surprise. Um, this one is sorry, it comes in at 4.8%. And he says, uh, Buzzard Dark Ale is brewed by a Cotley Brewery in the famous 200-year-old brewing town of Wivelscombe. Um, a blend of chocolate, malted barley, traditional fuggles and North Down hops com combined with Exmoor water and our unique strain of Cotley yeast. Giving this dark copper-coloured ale a flavour of chocolate and nuts. The finish in the mouth is dry with a smoky smooth finish. Okay, so... It's all very well writing that on the bottle, but we'll see what it tastes like. Okay, I didn't know they used uh, chocolate malts in this one, I just thought it was fuggles and uh, gold and stuff like that. Anyway, as you can see it's a nice sort of dark mahogany colour, you can see a bit of light right at the bottom, you probably can just about see that. Um, slightly off white head, it looks really really pretty in the glass, very very nice, so let's give it a nose. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely got a dark owl sort of smell about it. I'm not really sort of picking up any uh, chocolate or roasting malts, anything like that. I'm mostly getting um, like a really sort of earthy, caramelly sort of smell. There is actually, I know it says it on the bottle, but you can detect almost like a little sort of trill of smoke in the in the smell. It's like a tiny smoke, a tiny bit of smokiness. But yeah, mainly you're getting a bit of dark fruit as well. Maybe like um, a dark, sort of like a black grape or even a bit of plum. But as, actually, the more I smell it, the more that sort of earthiness is pushing up a little bit of the roasting as well. So it is coming through. But yeah, it's got some nice dark smell. So let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. That's good. That's really, really pleasant. Mmm, it's got a really nice finish as well. It's a bit fruitier than I thought. It's even like a, like a slightly sour tang to it. Not a horrible tang, almost like a like a sour fruit or something like that. Something like um even like a really sort of like um, ooh, like a cherry or something like that. Yeah, yeah, cherry. The first thing you get when you drink it is you get a nice earthiness, a um, little bit of caramel, and then the, the carbonation is about medium sort of level. So you know it's all nice and sort of smooth, and then this sort of sour tang sort of just sort of flicks on the end of your tongue at the end, and it's like and that's when this fruit comes in, which is quite abundant. Um, and it's definitely cherry. Now, the more I think about it, the more it's in my, in my, I can taste it. It's cherry. You're getting cherry, um, a little bit of plum, a little bit of raisin, even like um, it's even like a biscuity sort of flavour as well. Almost like a oh, I can't, I can't remember the name of them now. Those little posh biscuits that you sometimes get in the box. Um, And there is a really slight sort of roasted malt right around the edges. Just on the edges, like a slight sort of coffee twang, but it's really complex actually. It's quite complex. It's a lot a lot more flavours in it than I thought it was gonna be. Um, that is a really, really nice dark owl. I'm not a big fan of dark owls, it's not one of my favourite styles, so <clears throat> I'm really really glad that I'm enjoying this one. So rating wise, I'm gonna give the buzzer an eight. That is a really, really good dark owl. Definitely one I'm gonna be trying again. Um, and definitely one you can sort of sip, sit and sip as well as knock back um, because it's a nice sessionable ABV as well. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you again soon for another Viking Hour review. Cheers.